right guys, it is currently five, no, four, th 4.48 p.m. and I'm currently stuck in traffic. It's going to get take me about an hour to get to the gym <laughs> in order to start training, which definitely sucks because I got off of work at 4 p.m. I stopped, I went to Blue Bottle, took me about 20 minutes to get there. Went to Blue Bottle, got coffee, now it's gonna take me another. So it takes me usually two hours to get home or to get to the gym to go train. And then there's another hour and a half of training. There's a lot of stuff that we gotta do tonight. Also, fun fact of the day, I actually work in one of the most expensive places to live in the Bay Area. Um, that is Palo Alto, Mountain View, Atherton area. Houses are really big, massive. I wish I had a drone. I do have a drone. Uh, I'll show you guys some footage of what it looks like. And there you have it folks, we have a officially beaten traffic by like one minute. Let's do, let's teleport to the gym right now. So even though today's video is more of a vlog, I thought I would still kind of bring the news to you guys. So if you guys didn't hear today, actually, well, let's go back a few months. A few months ago, the movie uh, Creed came out, Creed 2, with uh, Michael B. Jordan. And with that release, Nike did a special Nike Metcon DSX that would eventually become, or what we would find out would become the Nike Metcon DSX 3 super dope release. I took the L on that because I actually didn't even know that that was coming out. Um, I like that shoe specifically because it uh, was a little bit more beefed up. It was a little bit more of a beefed up version of the uh, Nike Metcon DSX. And so I was like, whoa, <coughs> how did I not hear about this? This is dope. Turns out it was sold out. Um, so we fast forward, I think last week or the week before we found we got a, a new flying a DSX, the DSX-3. Now, uh, that's being sold all over the place. Um, you can buy that Roadrunner, uh, Rogue, I'll leave links down below to where you can purchase that out. Well, I guess it also turns out that apparently a bunch of people that pre-ordered that specific shoe, the uh, Apollo Creed version of the Nike Metcon DSX-3, Nike Metcon flying it DSX-3, that's a mouthful. Apparently all those people had uh, got their orders canceled. Um, so today I kind of found out because today I had posted a picture on my Instagram account and I was like, man, I took a major L on these. I wish I would have purchased these because if you go on StockX right now, actually I will show you guys. These are selling for, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but these shoes are selling for about $280 right now. So that would have been a nice resale, pickup resale. I may end up selling my refrigerators and picking those up, I'm not sure, because I really want those shoes, which I don't know if that seems a little excessive because at the same time, it's pretty much the same thing as the DSX-3, which I might as well get so I could do a review for you guys, so I will figure that out. But for the meantime, um, as I mentioned, everybody's orders got canceled. I posted that picture and a ton of people Actually, not a ton of people. Nike Metcon Tribe, if you don't follow them, they post all sorts of Nike Metcon stuff. 
um, I guess apparently they had also uh, placed an order for those shoes. Um, and then they were, they were told that they were going to ship on the 14th of December. And then today, uh, their order got canceled. Went to nikeytalk.com. <coughs> cool forum. All the people there that ordered that shoe, they got their shoes canceled. So I'm not really sure how many people are actually going to get that shoe um, at the end of the day. I really, really wish I would have got my hands on that shoe just because it's a dope looking shoe. It would probably would have been a really comfortable shoe to train in. I probably wouldn't have trained them all the time, but nonetheless, it still would have been a dope shoe. Next, guys, I have a uh, something a little bit different. Today's vlog, like I said, is different. But if you are looking to upgrade your office coffee, I found this really cool, I guess you could say kit that I'm putting together. Um, so I picked up this Bodum pour over. This is, I picked this up from Walmart for about like 13 bucks. Um, it's got a permanent filter um, and it makes four cups of coffee. It includes a little scooper on the inside. Picked this up for 13 bucks. And if you want really good coffee, um, I usually tend to recommend people go with whole beans. Um, I found something that was really cool, and that's these uh, perfectly ground bags from Blue Bottle. Blue Bottle is like my favorite coffee company in the entire world. Well, one of my favorite coffee companies in the entire world. Um, and my favorite uh, bean from them is the Bell Donovan, which is a blend network. We do have a lot of coffee options, but not a whole lot of great coffee options. So this is going to be my everyday office coffee kit. Um, this is nice because it can fit in my drawer really easily. Um, and these, again, I can also store these in my drawer really easily. This also allows me to not have to worry about measuring things out. And I can make one cup of coffee with one bag. And uh, yeah, so we're going to try that out tomorrow. Um, and oh, sorry, guys, I'm all over the place. Um, that's going to be it for this little mini vlog. Um, I'm going to try to start doing these a little bit more frequently, a little bit more of a way for me to kind of continue to be a little bit more creative or refine my creative skills as far as cinematics go. Um, so a lot more like B-roll, things like that, uh, a lot more nicer visuals. Um, the sound right now is really crappy because I'm using one of my old cameras, my RX100, which I bought a few months ago, is bugging out, so that's why I'm using this. Um, documentary, docu-series. So, like I mentioned before, still working out the kinks on that. Hopefully, within the next month, I will start the actual production. Uh, I'm kind of <coughs> rolling out or finishing up the pre-production, as I mentioned before. Got a whole bunch of guests that I'm really excited to interview and just dive deep into their lives. Hopefully, I'll be able to get through, I want to say at least three to five people within the next three to five months. So I might may either do a episode a month or um, two episodes a month. I'm not sure yet, still figuring that out. So again, stay with me guys. You guys are really gonna like this series. Um, really gonna be putting a lot of heart and soul into this. So do me a favor for this video. Let me know down below. Did you take the L on the Nike Metcon Flyknit DSX? threes did you take an l on those like i did second what is your favorite coffee company i'm always down to try new favorite coffee companies so if you have a local coffee company that makes really really great coffee let me know because i would definitely love to try that third let me know down below who you guys would like to see in an interview as far as somebody that's in the, within the world of functional fitness that um, is doing something really cool both inside the world of functional fitness and outside the world of functional fitness. Guys, that's going to be it for this vlog, I guess. Um, stay tuned next week. I'll have some more videos for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. So if you can do me a favor, make sure to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button because that lets me know I'm creating the content that you guys want to see, guys. So with that, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.